All right, guys. So this is the third video in our series of a one-year owner-operator. I don't want to say owner-operator series, but this is the the third video is about one-year owner-operator review. Uh, we talk about kind of like some of the responsibilities we have as a owner-operator, truck owner-operator. Um, you know. I'm going to talk about like the responsibilities, some of the breakdowns, you know, kind of what we do and what happens, you know, so. The good and the bad and the ugly. Oh, man. That's for sure. All right, let's get started. Hold on, you do it. Let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, so you can obviously see that we were, uh, we are in, where are we at? Carlisle, I can't say it the way they say it, on <laughs> Zillow, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, here at the Petro, and it's, uh, it's raining, and it's actually like 63 degrees out here, but it's actually nice when we're here, you know, got the rest of the day off, we don't pick up till tomorrow, and, uh. Because we got we a good deal coming out of dispatched ourselves, you know, coming out of Pennsylvania, going to Kansas City. So I, I feel like I got a pretty good little rate. So, I'm, you know, that's one thing as an operator. Depend on what company you go, you know, like from where I'm at here in Advanced Trucking, we can dispatch ourselves. So, you know, that kind of, you know, I can put myself into a good area or what I think is a good area or, you know, like right now, like. Texas area, Dallas, it's not really that great of an area right now, but, you know, I guess it would, like, depend on, you know, the person, if it's good or bad, you know, you know, if you have something good going in, you know, and it may not be that good going out, because what we got going out was, uh, it was okay, you know, coming up here to Pennsylvania, but, you know, I guess it's depends what part of the country you're from. <laughs> if we it's good watched, or bad. We just watched uh, Sammy making sense. And he says it's the whole total total miles. If end it's, of the week. Yeah, at the end of the week. If it comes out and it's a good number, then you're good for the day. You're good for that week. <clears throat> and that's what, you know, we kind of talked about that like in the other video, like from the spot market video. In the other two videos, you know, like we talked about the advanced trucking one year and the second video. Which you haven't seen yet, but you will. Yeah, you've already seen it. Oh. Um, the second video from, you know, being on a spot market for one year. We'll put both of these videos in the description below. So if you haven't seen it, go back and watch them. And it's on the playlist, so you can check that out. So, so this video is like, you know, the one year owner operator deal. Um, like what's been kind of going on, you know, not so much the spot market, not advanced. This is just the truck deal. What's good, bad, and ugly, like she was saying. Um, I think a lot of the goods, you know, probably the best thing I think of is, you know, from coming to advanced and getting this truck was to have my own freedom. You know, when I was at Warner, if you remember from the other, if you've seen that video, owner operator lease operator you, you call it whatever you want at the end of the day you know you're, you're paying for everything you're paying for everything but you know you can't dictate or you, you don't have no say on where you go or what you do or you could like if they you know like there's say there's a I remember those a load they gave us all the time and it paper mill in Demopolis Alabama and I get it and I would always be like 200 miles away and, and they only paid like uh, like 80 cents deadhead or something like that to get there you know and you got to pick up this heavy load and say you got to bring it to Pennsylvania yeah you know from like from Alabama to Pennsylvania for just gonna say I think like the loaded miles were gonna be like a dollar five or something like that because yeah. it was so long like the shorter you went 
the higher, higher it was. The longer you went, the lower it was. So, you know, you couldn't say where you went. And before we left, they were even like closing the window from you know where you got fuel, so you couldn't even like just decide where you wanted to get fuel. Like if if you knew you're gonna come wherever, you know, like say you know you're in here in Carlisle and you knew that the Petro's got cheaper fuel, well, you may not be able to get it. You have to go to the Lowe's, which you know, could be 15 cents more. I'm just just using an example, but you know, from coming over here and having real freedom to do what we want, you know, I you know being with advanced like you know the nasdaq card that we have you know it's mainly all ta petros and you know there's like some mom and pops in there and you know which is fine I, i'm good with ta and petro but every once yeah we like yeah to support mom oh and pops. yeah yeah and every once in a while you know i'll throw that in there but you know it's 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 i think it's good to have that freedom to you know and, and i'm sorry and i can go to loves but the only bad thing about loves I don't I gotta pay the, the pump price so you know if there's you know what was that that one TA I went to and, and I feel like I got some bad fuel there oh that was in um I was, I was coming home yeah it was Hold up on. in the panhandle ah, it was I up yes yeah, so I can't remember panhandle. but but I'll remember next time you know not to be getting fuel up that way you know was it what was it Louisiana no it was in the panhandle uh, anyway, so, you know, I just have to know that, you know, next time don't get fuel there, you know, because, you know, they, it, it could have been the truck, it could have been the fuel, I don't know, but, you know, as soon as I got the filters changed, <laughs> the problem went away, so, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the freedom to, you know, pick loads where I wanted to go, you know, you know, you know, obviously now we're getting to that time of year where, you know, there are I, certain areas you don't want to go into. Yeah, like probably where we're at right now. <laughs> you know, I I could probably stretch out a little bit farther, but I came up here a couple times last year, and it was pretty iffy getting out. You yeah, know, we got stuck. Oh yeah. At a little stuck. mom and pop place because they told us we couldn't go no farther. Over there by Lock Haven, they actually closed <laughs> down the highways, and you know, they said they closed the highways at six. And we're on the road at like 6.45, you know, because <laughs> we got stuck at the ship or whatever. That's, that's the way it goes. But, you know, the, the freedom to, to go where we want, when we want. And, and probably the biggest thing of everything was I don't have to tell anybody when I want to go home. And, and the best thing, like, for me right now, the reason I'm on the truck right now, well, there's a bunch of reasons I'm on the truck right now. But one of the main reasons I'm on the truck right now is our anniversary is coming up. And so he's like, 22. he's like, <laughs> 23. He's like, pick a place on the map that you want to go to and we'll make it happen. So I get to spend my- At the best of my abilities. <laughs> yeah. So I get to spend, I mean, we this morning we got up early and to keep ourselves awake, we were Googling cities to just, go. yeah just to see what they had and what you know where we could go so that's the best thing about this like oh you want to go here okay well let's see what we can find here and you know even though he's pretty much told me now that there are certain places that I wanted to go he's already marked them off the map <laughs> so well, so I'll put this out on here we're doing a 34 hour reset for our anniversary so if you guys wherever you guys live if you have if it's a cool little place where you can actually get a truck and trailer into and there's like a nearby hotel or whatever i mean if there's something cool because like we thought like it would be cool for example to go to minnesota yeah to the uh mall of america yeah mall of america and then i wanted to go to the dakotas and go to mount rushmore um we looked into indy we looked into I kind of, because we're Florida people, I wanted to go somewhere cold, as you can tell. Yeah, it's really not that cold here in, in Pennsylvania. Like, all you people would be like, For it's Florida not cold. Florida people it is. <laughs> to me, it's cold, and I get to wear my sweaters. So, I'm wearing my sweaters. Um, I want to go somewhere cold. So, nowhere hot. Don't no, don't tell yeah. us anywhere hot. So, if you give us a <laughs> couple ideas, that'd be great. I mean, we're, 
Yeah, you know, we still got, well, I don't know. Two weeks. By the time they see this, our anniversary may already have come and gone. <laughs> and uh, it's 23 years this year. <sighs> that's together. No, it's not. That's yes, not it is together. too. Your daughter will be 22. We'll be married 23. Two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some of the things that come with being on an operator is like, you know, we, we talked about the freedom and the you know responsibility for this truck. It's not so much the truck; it's you know family also. But to keep everything, I want to say, good, everything running cohesively, or running. This truck's got to be running for everything. I think at home, correct? Yeah, to a point. To a point. To a point because I mean there have been day there have been weeks that we haven't got paid and the house still ran. Yeah. So Yeah, and I'm talking like responsibility for this truck. I'm talking like like you know, where to get fuel. Like do you wanna get the, the best fuel or do you wanna get the cheapest fuel? You know, you know, the PMs on the truck, you know, the the maintenance, you know, you know, whatever maintenance you can do yourself, you know, I'm not like a, a full-fledged mechanic but I can do some stuff you know like you know change some hoses and stuff and change some lights and you know I, I, I know I, it's I, oh sorry go ahead. No, no, go, no, go, no, go. no go I, I, I you know I've seen people out here which you know just gets me you know it, it don't matter if you're a company driver or whatever you are but they'll be taken to the shop because they got a light bulb out or something, you know, or something easy you could do. Because I remember when I was at Warner, you know, company driver, you know, I, you know, I ain't gonna waste my time sitting in a shop when, I, you know, I got the stuff right underneath my bunk, man. Just, if you could do it, maybe they can't do it themselves or something, I don't know. But whatever you could do, do it, you know, yeah. You know, like I, you know, for example, you know, like we bought a grease gun so I can like, you know, grease the, the front end and whatnot, you know, yeah. whatever saves, you know, doing something like that can save you money down the road. I mean, save money as in like breakdowns, you know, you know. Ah, breakdowns, breakdowns, but I can tell you this much. We pay into that. We have the warranty and we have a third party warranty third party warranty and we have i forget what that account is called it, it, it's just a just a, a maintenance, maintenance count yeah. so we have that and i have both lists because the third party won't cover what this one will cover but this one will cover what the third party will cover so that's why um, you got to have your own so i have a third one so you know like little stuff you know like <laughs> belts lights anything that's gonna you know o-rings yeah they don't cover o-rings anything was, plastic rubber yeah tires you know <laughs> the stuff that they're not getting you know stuff that wears down that's on you so. but if you're a wife and your husband has these things and they give you the list of what it covers put them on your refrigerator i'm not kidding you put them on your refrigerator because your husband's gonna call you and say I had this break on me. I had an air dryer. And you're not going to know what an air dryer is, but you're going to look up there and you're going to go, is that part of the DEF system? Is that part of this? And he's going to say, yeah, or whatever. And you're going to go, oh, we don't have to pay for that. <laughs> oh, I mean, she helps out. Because uh, there's been times where I have, I've like, like, oh, man, I got to drop money on this. And she's like, oh, no, it's it's on the list. So, Oh crap! Okay, cool. Yeah, we might have to buy the the belts that go with it, or the O rings and the gaskets. That's the reason I know about O rings and gaskets because we always have to pay for those. They're not, and they don't tell you that you're paying for them. They're shop supplies. Oh yeah. They're miscellaneous supplies. Yeah, like one of the next <laughs> things I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do myself is is replace the, you know the belts up front. You know I've never done it. I can watch some videos, and try to figure it out, you know. Can't be that hard. McGee said it wasn't that hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, McGee did it. And, I mean, there's probably a lot of other guys that have done it, you know, so. If they can do it, I know I can do it. So, you know, it just, I guess it's one of those things, like, you know, take your time and see what happens, you know. 
all else fails, if it don't work, you know, then you know you may have to get someone to come do it for you. But you know, or if you can find someone to show you how to do it, you know, that's even, that's better. even better. But uh, you know, what comes along with the owner operator deal is what she kind of mentioned a little bit ago, and is the breakdowns, and you know. And I don't want to like super dwell on this, but I mean it's 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 something that's going to happen, you know, you know. And we've had in the breakdowns we've had this year. <clears throat> I, I don't want to consider them a major breakdown, but when you're dealing with the companies, you know, like Kenworth and you know third party. the third party warranty people, and you know, it makes it major. You know, it, to me, it doesn't seem like a major deal, but when when you're losing three or four days, that's pretty major, you know. And you know, and, and nothing ever happens when when it's you know the time is or when the time's good for you, you know. Like like oh, uh, you know, can we break down tomorrow? Not today, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, just I ain't gonna go into everything that happened, but like the the one that just sticks out is you know the North Little Rock deal. You know, that was, a, you know, the beginning of hunting season. And, you know, and, you know, I had the check engine light and it, it, it derated on me. And, and the closest place I can get to was the Kenworth of North Little Rock. And we get there, and <laughs> this story could be like a video on its own. But it, I got there, and the, it's a pretty big place. And there's only two people there. One guy and, the, like, the you know, service right up area and one tech. That's it. This is like what a Thursday, Friday, something like that. Everybody went hunting. It was the first everybody. day of, of uh, hunting season. Everybody. And everybody in the town. Gone. Went hunting at the service guy's cabin. Cabin. Yeah. So he's the yeah. <laughs> hey guys, use my cabin and I'll work. You know. We won't have nothing big happen. So basically that turned into like a four day ordeal what made it even harder was I had to stay there thank goodness they were a 24 hour deal and I could stay there because all the hotels in the area for some reason everything was booked up I not mean, for some reason yeah you know, hunting everything there was no hotel like every day I called like did anybody cancel no no no, no. no. <laughs> nothing so me and Leia Oh yeah, speaking of dogs. Silence. He made me take my puppy home. Yeah, I didn't make you do it. No, no. I needed new shoes and I wanted yeah, to take home. Yeah, yeah. My shoes were probably going to be next. Oh, that's a nice looking truck there. So, you know, he had to come. He had. He's he's a good dog, but he's not meant to be out here yet. Not so. yet. But, so, you know, the North Little Rock deal just turned into like a big fiasco and just, you know... And, and I try to try to stay cool, but I freaking like lost it on these guys. You know, like the last day. And, you know, uh, I don't the know. thing I learned about North Little Rock was, don't call your husband while he's in the shop, because before he takes it, well, at least my husband, before he takes it out on the guys at the shop, he's gonna take it out on me, because. I'm the kind of person to process things that I have to see it and I need to know every single little detail. I need to know what they said. Like, put me on the phone and let me talk to them. I'm that kind of person. And so I'm asking him, did they do this? Did they do this? Did they do this? Did they do this? And he's like yelling at me. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not talking to you anymore. You call me when you leave. And, and then he calls and he's like, I blew up at them. And I'm like, well, I'm okay uh, I'm all for being nice to people but when it one party doesn't want to talk to another party and they want to go through you when they're supposed to be companies and professional companies then you've got a problem yeah it's it's that was a very frustrating <laughs> just I don't even I can't even just if anybody has to go there or if anybody has been there, there I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> it's 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 rough, man. It's rough. <laughs> hey, 
it's never mind. What's it say? No. I'll cut it out. No. I'll cut it out. No, you won't either. <laughs> So our one year owner operator, how do you think it went? I think it was a learning experience and I think we learned a lot and I think we've come out better people for it. Where, where would you like us to be in one year? With our trailer, um, Provost told me, gave me a list of how, if you wanted to get your own authority, and I still have it, like, in my phone, and so the insurance was, like, the first thing that you gotta do, so, like, I would want to look into maybe our, getting our insurance, and then going from there, but right now, I just want to get a trailer and go and from there. Go from there. If I get our own trailer, then we can up our pay five percent there we go so that'll be cool but basically that five percent will probably go towards the trailer <laughs> but yeah whatever but, um if i had to give anybody a little piece of advice if you know if you're coming on to be an owner operator or if you're already an owner operator you could take this for what it is you know just, it took me a while it took her a while you know, it took us a while <laughs> Yeah, and I still have problems with it today. You know, don't second guess yourself. I mean, whatever you, you know, what, you know, like an example, I, you know, whatever, God, I don't even know how to do it. When you, example, like, you know, you, you, you pick the load from, we'll just say here, from Carlisle to Indianapolis. Uh, then, then, you know, later you find a load, the same exact not the same exact load, but going to the same area and it's paying more. You know, you can't second guess your, you know, your your decision. That's your decision. You gotta live with it. You, you're done. You know, somehow you gotta deal with it. Make, you know, and the backside, or the, you know, you, you just, it's, it all, it's all. There's good. always a reason why you have to do, why something popped up the way it popped up. Maybe there, you know. There's a reason for why you have to go there. At least that's the way I think that there's there's a reason for everything in this world. Yeah, it's like it may be just one little thing, but in the end, you know, it'll pay out for you. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it matters what you do daily, but at the end of the week, you know, that's what I feel what matters. Any kind of advice you can give to if there's like a trucker wife that'll be watching this possibly? Do your research. Don't just, on. don't just take it from him. <clears throat> like, I started when he he started at Warner and started getting his own truck. I went full-fledged into YouTube. Full-fledged into YouTube and watched um, I watched everybody and just started taking notes. And then I would call him and be like, what about this? What about this? Have you heard about this? Do you know about this? You know? And he'd be like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Watch this guy. Watch him. You know? Um, I was trying to remember, like, who, who I started watching in the beginning. Little guy. No, I meant, like, for, like, owner-operator stuff. <laughs> the person nobody likes right now. Okay, we don't need to throw, okay. to throw names out. But anyway. But, you know, you have to surround yourself... My mother-in-law is always telling me this. You surround yourself with the people that you want to be. We want to be successful. So we surround ourselves with the people that we want that are successful in this business and don't mind that we sit there and ask them questions and we're like, how do you do this? And what do you do here? And, and you know, we sat one, well, on two occasions, we sat with TRC and Sammy from Making Sense, and we must have sat there and, I mean, these guys have been doing this for a long time, and we sat there and asked all kinds of questions. Well, what about this? What about this? What about this? We sat with Provost, Provost Motorsports, and he sat there, and I was like, I got my phone out, and I'm like, J -j 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 -j. and he's like, Anthony, keep her. She's a good one. But you have to do your research, and you have to know 
what what you're doing and ask questions and find people who know what they are you know if you're sitting there it's like you tell your kids if you're sitting there and watching all the drama on it then that's what you're gonna fill yourself with if you sit there and you're watching all of the people who are successful and are making it in this business I sat and watched Sammy making sense and he was doing the freight on the dat board I had no idea what he was doing <laughs> I, I couldn't make sense of it left or right I called Anthony and I'm like you're gonna have to explain this to me because I want to know what he's talking about because he's saying that you need to be over here and not where you're at and he's like stop watching Sammy for a while <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> You know, you, you, you have to do it. I met LaShawn Parks and I told him, I'm like, I watch your videos and take notes. And he's like, that's what everybody needs to be doing. You just have to, if that's what you want to do, if this is what he wants, then I need to know everything about it so I can help him in it. So, do your research. The best piece of advice that was given to me we'll end with this I give to you don't let your emotions dictate what you do you know I mean what your trips you know what you do to your truck you know what you do family you know emotions are huge out here you, you don't let your emotions dictate what you do and I I can say I'm guilty of it all the time and I try I try I try some days are better than others you know all I can say don't let your emotions dictate what you're doing yeah and if you if you do let that happen then sometimes you have to pay the consequences from it and we've done that <clears throat> and speaking of paying con the consequences no you're paying for dinner because why I'll pay for dinner how many years meals. are will we we be married <laughs> she's paying for dinner talk to you guys later oh yeah and don't forget the other two this is video three. One and two will be down in the description below if you want to watch them. That would be Please cool. Please watch them. And uh, don't forget, if you can give us an idea for about our anniversary, where, what to do, That's and if where he gets to go. this video out in yeah, two weeks. Uh, maybe we should put this one out before that. All right. Bye. Talk to you guys next time. 22 years. Bye. <laughs>